Hello, I hope you're all well. This is just a really quick explanation about how I created my virtual trip to Berlin and Munich. The response on Twitter has been absolutely amazing. I never expected it to get the response that it has. So thank you very much. Um, hopefully this will show you how I actually made this trip using Google Slides. So to start off, you want to go over to Google Slides. If there's anything on here, you want to just get rid of that. Now, the first thing I did was insert a background. So on Google Slides, it's a lot easier than PowerPoint, in my opinion, to create something that looks professional and is easy to use because you can basically import everything from Google Images straight away. So you just go to background on the top toolbar here, click on choose image, and it will then take you to these options here. So you can either upload an image from your computer or you can do what I did, which is go to the Google image search. And I just searched for the background that I wanted. So let's have a look for the Reichstag in Berlin. So then it will throw up all of the images that would come up on Google Images. So you just choose whichever one you would like and click insert and done. And that should put the image on the PowerPoint slide for you. So I prefer using images that have a clear background. So for example, if I wanted to place a pin above the dome here to show students that that's where I want them to click, I just go over to Google and type in, for example, red location pin, and then click on images. And if you click on tools at the top here, and then go down to this drop down menu where it says color, you can actually select transparent, and this will make the background of all the images that you find on Google transparent. So if I wanted this pin, for example, um, I would know that it's a transparent image because the background looks a bit like a checkerboard. So just copy and paste that image onto your Google presentation. And just shrink, shrink that down to size, place it wherever you would like. So there, for example, I also added um, a label here just so students were clear about what they were doing. So visit... Reichstag dome um, and just fill that just so it's a little bit clear. Oh, how if I could spell? So if you just central align that text, arrange that for wherever you want it to go. Now to get this pin to link to anything, you just click on the pin, and I'm going to show you how to link this pin to a YouTube video first of all. So you would click on whatever you would want to hyperlink. So click on the red pin, go over to this symbol here, which is insert link. Okay. And it will pop up with this box. So you just go over to whatever you want to insert. So I want to insert this explanation film about the Reichstag in Berlin. So just copy and paste that link into there, click apply and you will see that it has inserted that link so that when students click on this red pin, it will actually take them to that YouTube video. So if we just have a look at that in present mode, if I click on the red pin, it should take me over to that YouTube video that I've just selected as my link. Obviously it's a bit slow at loading, but you can see that. So let's go back to our presentation. If you want to link something to a online website, you do exactly the same. So you just click on the red pin here, click on the insert link, and then just copy and paste whatever link you would like onto your presentation, click apply, and again, that will link that pin to that specific website. If you want to remove a hyperlink, just click on this remove link icon here and that will remove the hyperlink from the pin. Now let's insert another slide. So this will show you how I linked the PowerPoint slides to each other. So just get rid of those text boxes. So let's insert a background. Let's insert, let's say I want to go to Munich now. So let's 
search for a Munich image. Pop that on. So if I wanted to link this slide in Berlin and say put an arrow so that students went to this slide once they clicked on the arrow, I would just simply go on insert, insert shape, arrow and add an arrow in so we could add that there and if you double click on that it should let you type so you can just type whatever label you would like and then you're going to do exactly the same thing as we did for this pin. So you click on the shape and then go across to the hyper and the insert link hyperlink tab here and you will see that this drop down menu slides in the presentation pops up underneath. If you click on that and then click on the slide number so you'll see the slide numbers down the side here one two just click on slide two apply. So if I show you that in action. If students are in Berlin, if they click on our red pin, they're going to get taken to that website we've just linked. And if they click on the arrow here for Munich, it will actually take them to the Munich slide. Um, so I just basically did this. It's how I linked all of my slides together. Um, I also put icons down the side. So I put, for example, the beginning slide icon here. I put a map of Berlin so it links students back and I also finished my virtual presentation with um, quizzes linked to Google Forms um, and so I just hyperlinked all of those images there so you can just hyperlink an image back to a different slide so for example if I wanted to put a passport here to link to my final slide I would go over to Google again type in passport Make sure that you have selected under tools that the image is transparent. So let's go for this passport here. When it likes to load, it takes a bit of all. So we can see that this image actually isn't transparent because it doesn't have those checker box in the background. So if you click on these passports here so they are actually transparent copy that image over to your powerpoint apologies for the speed my internet's a bit slow this evening that image doesn't want to copy There we go, finally. So if we shrink this down and pop that on the side there, so if you say wanted this image to link back to your Berlin slide, for example, you would just click on the passport, click on the insert link icon, select slide one and apply. So if we look at that in present mode again, you will see that if you click on that passport, it will take you back to Berlin, click on Munich, it will take you back to Munich. For example, click on your pin, it will take you to whatever website you link. So basically, just create loads of slides um, and you can hyperlink between the slides and you can also hyperlink to external sources, so YouTube videos, websites, um, anything that you want really. Um, then the final thing that I did was insert my Bitmoji. So you need to go and download the Bitmoji extension for Google Chrome and you should see the Bitmoji extension appear here once you've done so. If you click on that Bitmoji symbol on the top of your screen, you can see that you've got all of these different Bitmojis on here. So I just simply drag and drop that Bitmoji onto my Google slide and then it acts just like an image. The background's already transparent as long as you drag and drop onto the slides and you can just put that wherever you want and then insert a text box or a call out, which is what I did for mine. So you can then just drag that out and 
type away so your bitmoji can say whatever you like um, you can also which is a really cool feature on bitmoji if you type in a word so if we type in fantastic in german you can actually get your bitmoji to say particular words um, in whatever language you are doing um, which is a really nice touch um, I think students really, really like these bitmojis. That's the response that I'm getting. Um, anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Sorry, it's a little bit rough and ready. Um, do contact me on Twitter if there's any more advice I can give you. Um, this is just the simplest way I could think of to explain how I hyperlinked all of my slides together and made it look the way I did. Um, so, yeah, thank you for your support on Twitter um, and I hope that your students enjoy their virtual trip abroad.